if I look at the, the lineup of surfers in this event, I would say that Nathan Hedge would be by far the, uh, oh, look at this. Deep one here, setting up for Jack Robinson. This is what we came to Tahiti for. Jack gets a bomb. Game face still on for Jack Robinson, expecting a massive score. And I'd be looking for dimensions on it. He's like, nothing to see there. He had a lot of little <laughs> secret missions he was on as we see him time traveling through the pit wow. again behind the spit, coming out with so much speed. Kelly Slater, three waves ridden, three perfect decisions. Tahiti Pro here at Te Aupo'o. A miracle of the surf world. Another heat, heat number six in the water. And it is Kylie Belly scratching into this one, pulling into a big, thick cavern. Where is he, Belly? And he exits. Yes. Well, last night's surf really helped him out because he got a wave just like that. Pupo at the moment, the Miguel version, currently in the lead of this heat. Connor O'Leary lunging into a round cave over the foam ball. And the Australian guided by his mullet. As we look at this wave going below sea level, a bomb for Pupo. Engulfed wow. in the spit. And he is flexing, waiting for the score. Needs an 8-6-3 wow. to go into the lead. That was wild. As I thought, and here's Nathan Hedge live. Back, way back in the barrel, way back. And a next oh. set for Nathan Hedge. <laughs> Oh, we had the same scream. Oh, my God. That was nuts. The reality is you are going to be able to take scraps, and the fact that he's able to build scores under there because Michelle, which is now on this wave. Michelle disappearing in the tube and reappearing out, so the Tahitian answering back, and he gets the approval from the channel. The wind does funny things around Varao, and, and sometimes it can come and feel like it's a west wind. Here we go, somebody. Important way for Ethan Bidet. Ewing needs a 5.61. Oh. We see that red wow. jersey pop out. Well, and he celebrates with his hand in the sky. World way. number three has not clinched his spot yet. Very crucial way for Ethan Ewing. That's a, yeah, you gotta, you gotta reset the bar for yourself. Here we go, uh, Chatty, I think. Looks oh, like Itolo comes flying white. out, so that'll yeah. change things around. That's yep. exactly what he was hoping for, needing just a 5.4 to take the lead. As we go right back into live action, getting things started, Jadson Andre getting wow. the exit against his best friend, Italo Ferreira, and skipping out, trying to avoid basically dry reef. And right into another big pit, standing straight up is the 2019 world champ. So the goofy footers already had established themselves. Do you ever take it into your own game and say, oh, I need to change my surfing? Or yeah, I mean, that's what, As we wow. look at Jadson on a big section. Oh, wow. Now a what do you do? To move in See, that now way. they got to compare Jadson's first one. Uh, for <laughs> and an air over the, over the sled. Locked in. Live action under priority. Miguel Pupo finds uh -oh. one and comes out. So what an effort from Miguel Pupo. Lost the power battle, did not get priority, and snuck one. Well, and that's what it is. He saw heat two is still to be determined. So whoever wins this heat is going to go into heat two. So that's why we're not doing overlapping right out of the gates. Maddie dragging on the takeoff, gets in the barrel, travels through there and comes out. An 8.4 is what he needs if he wants to take the lead on just one wave. Matthew McGillivray right behind him, traveling through section after <laughs> section, and Maddie comes through, little victory dance for the South African. Really cool for Matthew. We didn't know, we didn't know what to expect from Matthew. I haven't seen him out here. We haven't seen any videos, and you know what? He did not disappoint. That was a really tough draw against Baramamiya, and he got there and executed in a big way. As we fall into the pit right away, getting back into action with Ethan Ewing. What a great strike there. 717 was his start and a solid second scoring ride coming in at the 28 minute mark. Cowley Voss, local boy, holding priority, waiting to make a move. Those guys were so competitive and being twins, they wanted to actually be completely different than each other. They surfed so similarly, just added to their own rivalry as we go deep into the pit. Looks like Kaoli Vast, and he makes it. The local wild card had time to enjoy the view inside the pit at Tehupo. The local crew is loving that. Chasing down an 8.74 for the leadoff, Ethan Ewing. Yeah, that's what he needed to do, Kaoli. Flying through the rounds. 
through the trials and looks like he's picked the right wave, a bomb of a section. He comes wow. out at the right time. We saw some spin first and then he came out with the rest of it with total control. That was the moment he was waiting for. Next one's going upside down and trying to control one of the most radical takeoffs wow. of the day. McGillivray pulls off the impossible. Oh my. Oh wow, and look, all of his friends just are losing it. I do not understand how he hung on to that, Joe. That was just wild stuff. He seemed, he was so under the lip. Uh, as you can see, the jet ski just going in to get grip. He got that square on the head, but Maddie McGilvray, that was hitting himself in the face, just saying, how did I do that? Total commitment from McGillivray. So much commitment, so much magic trickery for him. The nose dug in. He's going sideways down the face on a 10-foot huge tubing chopes wave. And for him to be under the lip here on the foam ball, it's spitting in his face. He's so deep. I... I'm going to say this is going to have to go perfect. Kelly asking about Maddie's 10 point ride. As we look at Griffin Colapinto, big lunge into the first section, super deep Colapinto yes. into the sunshine in Tahiti. What a great time to be watching this event. Got absolutely flogged, Sammy Pupo. Sammy wants a piece of the action, and he is getting spit out by a <laughs> cannon of spray. This is what you qualify for. This is what you dream of when you come to Tahiti. Beautiful conditions. And here we go. Dora, a couple of pumps off the bottom. Got to get into the speed stance to come through this section. Gets spit out. Yago Dora, again, looking for a 7.34. Looks at the judges' tower and says, give me the number. But look at this. Uh, this happened during the break with Slater. A bomb. And just such an intense wave. And look at the scores that have been posted. A nine point ride as he high fives, but look at this thing, or 9.0. As you see, look at this. Underneath, beautifully done by Kelly Slater. What a ride for Kelly Slater. And here he goes again. In the barrel, threading through here, and Slater comes out yet again, back to back. Throwing down the back up quickly. Smart move. Just the connection. I mean, the connection that Kelly has out here is incredible. He has a connection with so many waves on tour. Here we go. Connor O'Leary pumps into this uh -oh. one, drawing down the reef, and Connor O'Leary answers back. Wow, that was one of those long little point riders that just peels down the reef. Great answer. The world champ is going to be the surfer that best adapted to every single break and performing on day. Here we go. Connor O'Leary, big, thick, and out. The spray right behind Connor as that wave spits. An 8.58 is what Connor needs to take the lead off of Kelly Slater. Jack Robinson now in the priority situation, striking. Oh, high line, yanks up on the rail. What? Yanks it for Jack Robinson right on the hooter. He wants more. Here we go. Jack Robinson pulling in, pulling up, threading through this barrel again and goes for that extra little bit of time in the barrel before exiting. So much control. Jack Robinson. Technical, talk about that. He released his hands to be able to go no-handed after he dropped in with the grab in the rail. Nathan Hedge with priority in the priority heat. He's out there in the white jersey and scratching into this one. Air drops into it. Big in blast there? from the barrel and oh! comes out of it. Nathan Hedge defying gravity. Well, I told you it wasn't over yet. Coming back to live action and hiding again <laughs> under the curtain. We're going to come back to Nathan Hedge. Remember, he needs a 7.73. As we scrap into live action, letting go of the rail and putting his head down and coming out with the spit, Kyle Belly, the silver medalist in the Olympic Games, is now setting up a potential strike to try to get the 7.41. Kanoa grabs the rail, lunges into the first section. It's staying wide open. Wow. Igarashi stands tall for the exit. And lets some of the emotion out with two minutes to go. What a brilliant effort for the surfer from Japan.
to try to turn this one on Jadson Andre and put himself into the WSL Final Five. As we say, another big, nice wave come through. It's Kelly's turn. He's looking for a 7.44. Head down, eye on the prize. Staying nice and round, he comes out. Lays down a backhand car, punches out the rebound, and you can see the fire in his veins. Looking for that answer back. 2.30 on the clock. His best score, a 6.67 on the board. Take another look at this 8.83 and the disappearing act. Yeah, and he lined that one up so well. Bigger wave over the foam ball and spit out. And uh, so he's got, you know, he's got a lot of reps in the jersey. He's had some success, but this is going to be the biggest heat of his life. Here he goes again, Voss. Knife's the takeoff back into the barrel, threads through this what? foot on the pedal, and he comes out again. Kauli Voss quick to strike two within just the first five minutes of semifinal number one. On the paddle right here, Kauli Voss looking to catch this wave under Kelly Slater's priority over the ledge there. Voss pumps, he's in the barrel, traveling through, traveling, 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 oh, and out. Man. Kelly again, letting him have it. Is there another one? But uh -oh. Pupo's on a bigger one. Over the foam ball. Miguel comes out oh. into the channel. Unbelievable. And watch your competitor behind over the foam ball. Over another one. Two in a row. And much more deeper. Much more technical. Bigger wave. So all of those elements translate into a bigger number. Be pretty surprised if it doesn't go in the back. Waves on the way here in the final, 9.25 to go. Mikel Pupo rolls in and steps on the gas incredibly deep. Comes out of the barrel like getting shoved out of a cannon. So much energy flooding through Miguel Pupo's veins.